18. I don't know. It's early cars. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, cool stuff. And here they are. You see the monuments that we're standing next to? Um, the New Jersey Monument uh, has, uh, oh, God, uh, Hugh Irish, I think is his name, on top. Uh, Ezra Carman was involved in the dedication. He's the John Batchelder of Antietam. Mm -hmm. He did all the early historical work, or a lot of it, and wrote all of the plaques you see around the battlefield, the U.S. government plaques. Now, this place where we stand now, next to the 124th PA, you can see it's really flat right behind here. Well, I wonder why. There is a roughly 1950s house there for a long time. Even after the Park Service took it over in the 90s, it served as the chief ranger's house at the time of the battle. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean. There's a cap well right here. Cool. Wayne points out the cap well. Yeah. That looks like it's near the back of the house. Very cool. But of course, a slightly more note. There's another Alexander Gardner photo, the furthest north Gardner photo that we know of. There's still a couple we don't know where they were taken. But it's taken here looking right there. This burial crew is standing where the Chief Ranger's house was. And this is one of those you can zoom in on. And one of the guys, this guy, is just glaring, man. Nobody was happy about this uh, burial duty. Nobody. Okay? And, uh, you know, somebody had to do it. And, you know, the regiments that were popular with their brigade commanders usually didn't have to do it as quickly. Okay? Uh,